Here on one, more family fun with the courageous couples competing in Bruce Forsyth's Generation Game. Life is the name of the game and I want to play the game with you. Life can be terribly tame if you don't play the game with two. And I want to play the game with you. Thank you. <laughs> you know, thank you. For the last three months, I've wanted to do that, you know, just to walk backwards, to make everybody think their videos are rewinded. <laughs> anyway, it's nice to see you, to see you. <laughs> and welcome to the Generation Game, the show for the family, by the family. And let me remind you, once again, none of our teams know what we have planned for them. And by the way, if we don't have a clear winner tonight, there'll be a third ballot in a few days' time. <laughs> but here's someone who's always a clear winner with you, my girl Friday, the lovely Rosemary Ford. Hello, hello, Rosie, how are you? I'm depressed. Oh. Well, my boyfriend and I have just split up. Oh, no. Oh, not the Harley Street doctor. Yeah. I thought you liked him. Well, I did, but I've gone off him now. Oh, why's that? Well, he sent me a bill for 28 house calls. <laughs> no. Yes! Well, now I know why they call him a GP. <laughs> He's a greedy plonker. <laughs> Anyway, cheer yourself up, darling. Know, you know, know, help bless her heart. You know, write to camera four. Tell them who's here. Right. Tell them all now. I will too. Yeah. Our first cheer jeans. Cheer yourself up. <laughs> Tell them all about. <laughs> Our first team's from Kent, their father and daughter, Romano and Angela Galone. <laughs> It's uh, Angela Galoni, and you're a recruitment consultant uh, for jo that's for jobs. And that's that's right, I see yes. fine. You also worked in beauty clinics, uh, doing facials and waxing and massage. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you know I have a massage every week? Yes, uh, Ursula, my my masseuse, she refreshes the parts of my body that other masseuses cannot reach. <laughs> Really does. And I've had a bit of a twinge today. I'm so glad you're here. I had a twinge and then it turned on, to a tweak. And then it's gone into a kind of a twitch. Just here, would you just, just give me, I just want to feel your hands. If you've got good. Oh, yes, you have. <laughs> higher, higher. Higher. Lower, lower. lower, lower. lower, lower. A bit higher, a bit higher. Yes, a bit higher. Freeze, freeze. There. Oh, you have got good hands. And you also do facials and That's waxing. Right, yes. Oh, well, later on you can wax my face. Um, <laughs> Now, Miss Galoni, you are single, is I that right? Single, and you yeah. always seem to meet the wrong sort of man. Always met the wrong well, man. Well, ex explain the, the, the right kind of man. Um, look a little bit like Tom Cruise. A bit like Tom Cruise, yes. But a bit taller. Oh, well, good luck. There's very few of us left. <laughs> um, <laughs> so you're a lonely Galoni. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> waiting at Gatwick Airport to collect your luggage, you were embarrassed. Why, 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 what happens at Gatwick Airport? Um, I was waiting to collect my money from the oh, the conveyor, conveyor bill. Oh, yes. yeah, we've got one here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I had some of it wrapped up in one of those holdalls. Oh, in a holdall? Hold yes, yes. And, yeah, fine. It come undone. Yes. My, my knickers were going knickers round and round. We're going round and round. <laughs> oh, how embarrassing! Yeah. And you, were you with a, a boyfriend at the time? No, a girlfriend at the time. Oh, so your knickers were a bit like you, <laughs> going round on their own. <laughs> Dad, just at this slight angle, if you will, Romano, like then we can get a nice shot of you. Just, Hello, Mum. <laughs> just stay like that. Yeah. Uh, Romano Galoni, and that obviously must be Italian extraction. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, it is. He's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> anyway, oh, 30 years ago, you had an ice cream that's all right. business. Oh, that's all right. And you had your own van. That's all right. That's all together good. now, just one, one good Now then, 
And um, so, uh, and while on national service, the vehicle you were in rolled over and you were trapped with battery acid dropping onto your overall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where did it drop? I mean, what part of you? Well, the next day I had to clean the vehicle. Yes, and, yeah. And um, while I was washing it down, yeah. I could feel this breeze sort of blowing sort of below the belt. Oh, no, what, all down Yes, and all these people were walking by and no. I didn't realise it. No. I was leaning over and everything yeah. was and sort was of... All, you know, <laughs> oh, oh. Nasty. That could have been very nasty. It could have. Romano could have finished up a soprano. <laughs> Anyway, thank you both for being here, Angela and Romano. You look great. fun, people, and that's what we need. Yeah, bye -bye. Over there, if you will, and we'll see you in the next Now, who have we got now? Our second team's from London and Manchester, their mother and son, Olive and Stephen Kurt. Right, here we are. And you are Olive, and uh, you're married to the Archdeacon of Lewisham. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Welcome, Your Grace. Um, uh, you're a piano teacher. Oh, is that right? And your favourite piece? Um, I should think Brahms' second piano concerto. Oh, the second, yes, because he made a few mistakes in the first one. <laughs> <laughs> You're married to Gordon, the arch, the archdeacon, the archdeacon of, of Lewisham. Yeah. <laughs> My knees are going to go in a minute. And, uh, now he's is he next in rank to a bishop? Am I right there? That's right. Some people say he's the uh, crook at the head of the bishop's staff. The crook at the head of the bishop's staff. Well, I'm glad you said that. <laughs> but he's certainly not a pawn. All right. And um, now, Olive, you found out Gordon was very keen when he cycled 100 miles to see you in Leicester. Yes, he did. Oh, goodness, 100 miles. He must have been very keen. He was worn out. Yeah, I said, <laughs> yeah well, that's another thing. But, I mean... <laughs> well, he wouldn't go all that way for a piano lesson, would he? <laughs> so, you said... Did he go? She's laughing. Right. Um, did he go back the next day, or did he? Did he sort of stay well, a little yeah. while? A little while. Yes. A little while, and then you got rid of him the next day. Yeah. He's yeah. going to stay with me. Oh no, I don't. Know. <laughs> I didn't say that. But I mean, <laughs> no, I'm not that. Next subject. Right. When you um, when you left your last church, the ladies gave you a T-shirt with "Hug an Archdeacon's Wife" on it. That's right. That's yes. we, we can do a joke here. Will you say <laughs> that? Say, when I left my last church, they gave me a T-shirt with. Come, come when on. I left my last church, they gave me a T-shirt with "Hug an Archdeacon's Wife" on it. Really? What was on the other side? Squeeze an olive. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Right. Lovely to have you with us, Olive. Thank really. You. Now, over to your son, Stephen. How are you, Stephen? All right, thank you. And you're a history student. History I am. student, yes. New Manchester. Uh, all right, quick, concentrate. <laughs> uh, the Battle of Hastings? What date? 1066. Well done, well done. Now, name me the two ice cream companies. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to do with Romano over there. The two ice cream companies mentioned in the Bible. Oh, um. <laughs> Walls of Jericho? Yes. <laughs> you going for the second? Lions of Tudor? Yes! <laughs> My two jokes went for a bird. <laughs> All right, would you like to come on takeover? Please? Yeah, he's a clever one, this one. OK. Now then, everyone calls you bread. Why? Um, well, a friend of mine at school, a person called Simon, thought my head was shaped like a loaf of bread when I joined school. <laughs> Well, it's a bit long, like mine. It's a bit of a long loaf, I must say. Yes. Um, and that's why they called you that. Yeah. It wasn't because you're your mother's pride. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Stephen, thank you for being thank here, you. Olive, because we've got a game coming up. If you'll go over there, we'll be right away. Nice people have done. Very, very nice people. Right. Now then, our first game is called Walkies. It'll all make a lot of sense when you see the Royal Air Force Police Dog Demonstration Team.
JJ, come hold. JJ, come hold. Good boy. Good luck. Team. Now you've tossed up, you're going first, is that right? So get either side of the centre dog, OK? Either side of the centre dog, here's your one. Get round the back there. And Romano, you've got your one round the back there. We're ready now for walkies, take two. Romano, forward, forward, that's it, over there, that's it, good, get him to sit, sit, get him to sit, 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 that's it, good, now let him off the lead, get him to fetch, fetch, Shane, Shane. Oh, <laughs> fetch, fetch, come on. Fetch, fetch, fetch. No, no, no. Fetch. Romano, come over here, come over here, come over here. Pick it up in your teeth and take it over here. <laughs> OK, now you, my darling, come here. Bring Max over here. Bring Max here, that's it. Here, boy. Take the lead off him. Sit him down, sit him down. He's a frisky one, that's... But... Good. Sit, that's it, good. Take the lead off. Take the lead off. That's it. Off with, off with the lead. That's it, good. Now point him there. Get him to fetch. 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 Here, boy. Here, here, Max. Max. Here, boy. Come on. No. Max! Max! Come on, come on. Max! 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 Fancy getting a superstar to do this. Max! 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 Just get it, dear, and take it back. I don't think we're getting there with Max. Come on, come on. Max! Shame. Right, put him, put him over here. OK. Max, come here, here. Here, Max, here, that's it, up here. That's it. Hooray! Salute! Good job! OK, you two, back you come here, if you will. OK, over here, if you will. That's all right, because they're going to they're gonna be this side afterwards. That's fine, it'll all work Good out, one, I think. Fun. There we are, lovely, lovely, lovely. Either side of the, of the middle one, if you will. Either side of the middle one. Here we have walkies, take three. <laughs> Good. at the back now. <laughs> okay, Shane, come out, out, out with Stephen, with Shane, quick, quick. That's it. 
OK, take the lead off him this time. Good, OK. Show him the bucket, that's it. Now, go, say, fetch, go. Fetch, fetch. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Away, away you go. Come on, bring the other one out. That's it. The, the other one out here. Does it come out here? It's fine. It should be this side. Fine. Let him, let him have the damn thing. Let him have it. <laughs> now he's starting at me now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> come on. Come on, Max. Max. Come on, boy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Fetch. Fetch. Max. Max. Come on. Max. 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 Max, please. For Uncle Bruce, Max. Come back here then, my darling. Bring, see if you can get him back here. That's a shame, that. But he don't, Max doesn't... Max! Max, come on. Walkies. Come on. Walkies. Good boy. Come on. Good lad. What a good boy. Just ruined the whole show. Up here. Good. That's it. Good. Get up. Get up. Good boy. Get up. Get up. That's it. Good. Sit. Sit. Now, do the salute, for goodness sake, Max. Right. The salute! That's it! Oh. OK. Come back, you two, if you will, over here. Right to cross here this side, if you will. And come back to us, Olive and Stephen. That's... Look, you're exhausted. <laughs> I know we all... Oh, that's it. In we go. There we are. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Well... <laughs> but at least some success there. Anyway, will you please welcome now to do the marking for us, Sergeant John Firth. John! <laughs> He's a naughty boy, Dad. Just a little bit. Oh, we know this before. Tell me, how long, is, how long is Max in train for? He's been trained for up the year. Um, well, he's been in the team now for three years. Three years? Yes, but he does that for his handler. He's, he's OK with his handler. He's, he's OK with his handler, yes. Oh, yes I yeah. wish you'd have told us that <laughs> before. <laughs> But anyway, but the RAF do need dogs Desperately, now. Desperately, yes. We yes. need um, German Shepherd dogs or Alsatians yes. from the years, from the ages of 15 months to three years. Yes. And any of the gun dog breeds, Springer Spaniels, Labradors, for the, the sniffer dog work. Yes, Labradors, the sniffer dog work. Oh, fine. Between so the ages anybody... of 12 months to three years. 12 months to three. So anybody would like to donate one, we'd love to have them, yes, wouldn't we? Yes, certainly, yes. OK, now, let's get to the business of marking. Our first team, yeah. what did you think of them? Um, Romano did quite nice marching. And marching was very good. It was a shame about his handling. Yes, his handling, yes. So I think five. Five, yes. yes. And what about Angela? Angela lost the dog entirely yeah, when well, he went walkabout, didn't yes, he? Yes, Max was a naughty so, boy there, so... So I'll give her five as well. Five as well, just five for being well. here. That's <laughs> lovely. <laughs> All right. And I suppose you've got to give five there because of Max. He was very bad well, with yes, Olive. Well, yes, must be bad, yeah. Yes, so, but now, Stephen, we did get... He got a retrieve out of it. He got a retrieve out of it. So I think Thank I'll give Stephen the six. Otherwise, the whole game would have been a waste of time. <laughs> So, what, six? Six for Stephen. Six right. for Stephen. OK, well, thank you once again, John, for being a part of it. Thank you, yes. And the marvellous team. OK, now then, what's on the board, Miss Paul? Well, Angela and Romano have scored ten. Yes. Olive and Stephen have scored eleven. Oh, just one in it. OK, over there, if you will. Over there. Now then, our second... Our second game is called Fun with Fondants. Always a welcome visitor to the Generation Game is Mr Ken Slatter. Yes! It's been a good few years. Uh, yeah, a lot of walk around the beach and uh, a lot of things to do still. <laughs> right. So if you'll just bring them round here, Rosemary, that's lovely. Right round the back here, so they can see nice and clearly. That's it. Fine. Now, we're right. not going to tell you what he's going to do, but children, you will love this. Yep. We've got some little pieces of sponge cake here. Sponge cake? Yes. Yep. We're just going to put some pink buttercream. Pink buttercream, yes. Yeah, which will eventually form yes. a, a mouth. Yeah, it looks like strawberry. <laughs> there we are. Lovely. Then we Good. get the fondant. 
Now this is made of fondant is made of sugar, sugar, water, glucose, sugar, water, glucose, boil together. Yes, and then whatever colouring you want to make. That's it. right. Now, kids, if you're going to do this, don't don't get a pot of green paint. <laughs> That's it. Dip that See in the that fondant. Very carefully. Keeping the bottom and clean. Then out. Out. Good. Next, Next one. one. In. And out. Very delicately done. Very delicate indeed. Third one. The third one. Up and down. Up and down. Now then. Right. Good. Now we just wipe our fingers. Yep. And now put some masks on, made, some masks of, on. made of royal icing. Now this is where you'll know what it's all about, right. children. That's Raphael. Raphael. Leonardo. <laughs> Donatello. <laughs> Donatello. Raphael. And uh, yeah, he's a real oh, Donatello. <laughs> of Michelangelo. Good. Right. So now we now, always know this is the turn. Eyes. So kids, remember, no green paint and don't get the tortoise in from the garden. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want any trouble. That's then it. The there pupils, the which the you pupils. can always give, give them character with the yeah. pupils, where yeah, you put the a bit of life to the life whole thing, doesn't it? them, yes. Just those Actually pupils. Glasses. Yeah. <laughs> Are you not too... Uh... No, I'll manage. You'll be all right, don't worry. <laughs> you <laughs> green all over the place. <laughs> then we've got a warm spoon. <laughs> oh, well, the, now watch this. This oh. is the bit. Yes. Kids, you'll love this at home. Warm watch spoon. This. We just open his mouth. Oh! <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? That is really beautiful. Oh, right. This is the bit you like to do, children. There we are. That's clever, that. Is, it really is, isn't it? Yeah, that's great. Yes, I'm glad you mentioned that, Romana. <laughs> nice smile on your face. Lovely smile on the face. I think there that is are. wonderful. There we are. <laughs> there we are. Is that beautiful? Then we'll come back and do some marketing. Okay. Don't go too far away. If you'll stay here, they'll change that one over for you, Olive. And Romano uh, or Angela, oh, you can get to the. Well, stay here or, or wherever you like. Whichever one you want to get to. You, Romano, on the end there. Good. I think we're all ready. We've got as long as it takes, starting from now. And good luck with this. I think it's an absolutely wonderful. Thing. He's getting so he's struck in. Get right in there. Who's that with the mouth up there? <laughs> that do the mouth. <laughs> yes, he hasn't done his mouth. Do it, <laughs> You put the mask on. You should be putting the mask on now. Are you a little bit... Uh, yes, OK. Oh, half your, um, half your mouth came out there, Stephen. OK. He's having a go here, this. Yeah, but I've got it in reverse order. Oh, you're doing it in reverse order? <laughs> Good thinking. I don't think you'll lose many points because of that. Don't forget the eyes, that's it. All the masks are on there. Yes, you're doing all right. Pipe the eyes, don't forget the eyes and the little dot, the little pupil. That's it, and you're going, you're going to do the mouths now. Olive, that's it, very good mouths they are. <laughs> It's like songs of praise where they're all singing, doesn't it? <laughs> I just hope. Okay, stop. Wherever you're up to, stop. Tim, come back here if you will. Wipe your hands on your. You've got, you've got, you've got, you've got all right. Come in here, Tim, and let's have a look at Romano's effort. He forgot to start with the uh, with the mouth thing. He had to put it on afterwards. But uh, yes. what do you think? Five out of ten. Five out of ten. Yes. All right. Well done, Romano. Well done indeed. Yes. Well, we got... Oh, she couldn't get up to the mouths. Well, no. oh, oh yeah. yeah. Well, well, she sort of got. The... They fell oh, off. They, they all fell off in the side there. Yes. Yes. They look a bit of a mess, don't yes. they? Yes. Oh dear. But you uh, massage well. I think five out of ten. As five well out of ten one, as yes. well for this yes, one. Yes. Okay, just about the same yes. as Romano's. Okay, let's have a look here at uh, oh, yes, these little nice. rather yes, good. Very good. I mean, yes, look yes. at olives. I mean, yes, look yes, at that. Yes, yes. Look at that. Yes. 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 Oh, sorry, Andy. Oh, what did I do? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. What do you think? Eight out of ten. Eight, eight. eight yes. out of ten. <laughs> well done, Andy. Yes. We can get to these. And uh, he got in a bit of a state, yes. but he got a couple yeah, there, bad, not, yes, not, not yes. too bad. And the pupils, I'd say um, five out of ten. About five, yes. the same as Romano. Yes. OK. Yes. Ken, once again, <laughs> lovely to see you again. Yes. And thank you for always bringing the subject so original. Thank you, Ken Slatter. Goodness again.
good messy game. Come down here. Lovely, lovely. Lovely, lovely. Right. What's on the board, Miss Ford? Well, Angela and Romano have scored 20. Olive and Stephen have scored 24. Oh, 24. Sorry, there we are. Oh, it's just a, but a good fight. And we're sorry to lose you, but we do have Generation Game telephones for both of you, and thank you for being a very important part of our show tonight. I'll give you You're a call. lovely people. Give us a call. Yeah. Give me a call any time, and we'll see you in our grand final, which is... What's going on here? <laughs> Well, get out of it. <laughs> and we'll see you in our grand final, which is coming up very soon, Olive and right. Stephen. Thank you all of you. So very, very nice. What about that? Oh, yes. Yeah, and who have we got left? Our third team's from Cornwall, their father and daughter, John Allen and Debbie Reynolds. Oh! <laughs> Right there, how are you? Good, and you are? Debbie Reynolds. Oh, yeah, all right. Well, I'm Gene Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to have another go at Sid? <laughs> Let's have another go at it. You are? Debbie Reynolds. All right, I'm Fred Astaire. OK, how long have you been Debbie Reynolds? Um, just over three years Ah, now. three years. So what does your husband do? He's a postman. He's a postman? Yes. Oh, I see. Have you any children? No. Oh, so he hasn't delivered yet? No. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, on the wedding night, you went to a Greek restaurant and you ordered Tara Mazalata, right. but didn't know it was so full of garlic, and John hates garlic, yes. so you spent your wedding night <laughs> facing opposite directions in bed. That's true. Is that, oh, what a shame. <laughs> That's terrible. But wait a minute, I thought Tara Mazalata was a starter. It is. Oh. <laughs> well, it was a non-starter. It you. was. <laughs> <laughs> right, we didn't have garlic on your cornflakes the no, next morning, no. I see. So now over to John, and you're a retired fire officer. Yes, I see. Yeah. But you finished up as a breathing apparatus officer for Cornwall. Yes, the very good. instructor. Yeah, that's what your son-in-law needed on the wedding night, yeah. wasn't it? <laughs> you know, with garlic Gertie here. Yeah. <laughs> um, you're married to Patricia, and you got engaged, but Patricia left the ring in the lady's toilet, and that's, it was stolen. That's right. Well, why would anybody steal a lady's toilet? No, <laughs> it was the ring. <laughs> Seize the way I'm sorry, <laughs> my fault, that's it. Uh, was that in Truro? No, no, was it in Loo? Was it in Loo? <laughs> no, no, was it in Loo? <laughs> okay. A few years ago, a gypsy discovered you had the talent to charm warts away. That's right. Really? I had warts all over my hands. You had warts all over your hands? Yeah, and, and she, she told me how to do it. She told me how to do it Since then, I've it. been able to charm warts. But you know, <laughs> if you go on like this, you could have letters behind your name. <laughs> you could be John Allen WC. <laughs> <laughs> Wart charmer. <laughs> anyway, it's a fact. It's you must tell me about this a little bit more later, because I'm not so, that I've got any warts, you know, no. that show. But anyway, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much for being here. Fine, yeah, fine. Okay. A wart charmer. <laughs> Now then, what about that? Now then, who's the last couple? Our fourth team's from Yorkshire, their mother and son, Hazel and Chris Goodchild. Oh, Yorkshire, yeah, 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 yeah. All right then. I don't know, I don't know. Hazel and Chris. I see. And Hazel, you're a housewife, you're from Osset in West Yorkshire. That's right. Right. At 14, you worked in a shirt factory. That's right. Oh, was that yeah. for pin money? <laughs> Now, what did you do there? What did you do in the... I was a special cutter. A special cutter? Yes. Oh, so you didn't put the pins in the no, shirts? No. Yeah, but why do they put so many? I've never known. It's ridiculous, yes, isn't it? it I is. mean, no matter how many you take, there's always some left. That's right. You know, I put a new <laughs> shirt on the other day, it was like having acupuncture. <laughs> well, you did wonders with my rheumatism. <laughs> A few more new shirts and I'm cured. Um, <laughs> your previous jobs, you were a school dinner lady, uh, a shock absorber inspector. That's right. Really? Yeah. A shock absorber inspector, really? Yeah. You're married to Tony. Yes. And he's a civil engineer. And you went to Southport on your honeymoon and you tried to keep it quiet from all the people there, but the other guests found out and they hung bells under the bed. That's right. Did they bring <laughs> bells? That's Sarah, really? And balloons in and the balloons. bed. And balloons? Where the bed. In the bed. Oh, dear. They didn't put some whoopee cushions oh, under no. the mattress. Postcards. I should hope not. Over. I should hope not. You know, otherwise you'd never got yeah. any sleep. Yes. Um, <laughs> anyway, this is your son. Yeah, this yes, is. Yes, Chris. And you sell bricks. 
Try oh, to, yeah. try oh, to. Well, don't worry, you sell them, Thanks. sometimes I drop them. Um, <laughs> you work for a brick merchant, you're married to Pauline, and your eyes met across a crowded nightclub floor. That's, That's correct. Beautiful. Very romantic. Yes, lovely. very much so. Yeah, a little drink, a little dance. Yes. Oh, lovely. Then you drove her home? Yes. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> but you had to stay in the front seat? That's right. Because the lorry was full of bricks. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Uh, you announced your engagement at an Italian restaurant in Sheffield. It's a very Italian night tonight. In Sheffield, right? And both sets of parents were there. You were there. Everybody yes. was there. And the waiters rushed over with sparklers and sang Happy Birthday. <laughs> Couldn't believe it. Is that Happy right? I think birthday. I know this restaurant Happy in Sheffield because I used to work there quite a lot. What's the name of this restaurant? It was Medios. Uh, Medios? I've been there. I went there New Year's Eve. They sang Easter Parade. <laughs> 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 They're all mad, the Italians. <laughs> mad! Has he gone? Yeah! <laughs> Now, you went on honeymoon in Crete and you spent half the night chasing cockroaches. 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 Oh, no. <laughs> because Pauline was frightened. Well, I should think they're frightened of them. And on your honeymoon. That's right. I mean, they do no harm, cockroaches, but they are awful things to see and everything. True. Must have scared the pants off her. <laughs> um... <laughs> oh, please! <laughs> For goodness sake. Well, I will make a note. <laughs> Bedroom bud. <laughs> right. Anyway, thank you very much, Chris. I didn't mean that. Was no, you're not right. Just no. It was funny. Good one. <laughs> All right. Thank you for being Thanks here, so Chris. Much. Thank you, Hazel. Over there, if you will, because we've got a game coming up. Our third game is called Up, Up and Away. So, with no more delay, let's meet Michael Howard and Jackie Underwood. <laughs> Michael and Jackie, in your own time, away you go! This is going to be a race when you do it. It'll be the couple that get as far as they can. So remember, it is a race. They're making a race themselves, I'll tell you that, because this is quite fantastic. The speed in which they do it, absolutely amazing. Lift it up, just pull on the old ropes there, and there you've got it. <laughs> there we are. Away we go. All right. Wonderful. Well, I'm not going to ask you to stay with me because they're so out of breath, because that is, oh, it's a man and a woman's job, I tell you that. So if you can just unwrap it again, if you will, and uh, which two are going first, Rosemary? They've already tossed up. You two are going first. So if you'll just get over to that side, just right over there, fine, and get all this unraveled as quick as you can, and uh, get the air coming through as quick as you can as well. With the magic of television, we're ready for balloons take two. Remember, you two, it's a race, OK? You've got a minute and a half, starting from now. Away you go. Okay, that's it. You just hold it for now. Just pull back a bit. That's it. Look at Hazel. Hold it up. How long have they had? You've got 30 seconds to go. 30 seconds to go. Get the uh, get the bag. Get, get the bag and get some in the bag. That's it. Get as much in the bag as you can. Because Hazel's getting in a state there. <laughs> it's like getting out of bed, isn't it, Hazel? That's it. Try and get as much in as you can. That's what'll get you some points. Very difficult thing to do. 
two, one. <laughs> <laughs> stop, 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 stop. That's it. A challenge, Hazel. Oh, it is it hard work? Come down here, Hazel. Okay, stay, stay down there. Stay there. Now then. Now to do the marking uh, for the marketing, the marketing, we do the marketing. For the, we have the marketing manager <laughs> to do the marking of Cameron Balloons, Alan Noble. There we are. Alan, thank you for being here. There we are. Now you you have been a balloon pilot for 17 years. So uh, it's you a must long have time. Travelled yeah. hundreds of thousands of miles, I would think. Mainly by aeroplane, but a few by balloon. A, a few by balloon. <laughs> well, now the business in hand is. Uh, what do you think? He got off to a very good start. Brilliant and then he sort start. Of got round. Absolutely him a bit. brilliant start. Yes. Then it all sort of went a bit floppy. Yes, yeah, it did. Yeah. Mm. I think so they didn't do too badly. In not the too end. bad. No, it was a gallant I think effort. it's probably it's worth. What did it look at? It's hard work. <laughs> it is hard work. <laughs> I think it's worth six. Six. Six out of ten. Six well done indeed. Come and mark the other two. And if you'll, you you may come over that side if you will. And we'll get the others in. And if you'll just hop over there, just stand by those steps over there, good. Because we've just got to get the balloon ready again. So if we just unfold it as we did before, Michael and Jackie. We're ready now for balloons. Take three. Remember, you two, this is a race. Good luck to you. You've got a minute and a half starting from now. Away you go. See if he's a balloon charmer. Coming in there. That's it. Keep pulling back there, Madame. Keep pulling. That's what you've got to do at the start. It is good if you keep pulling there until I think, yes, about now you can start rolling it up. Very good. That is marvellous. You've got a minute to go. A minute to go. What a great effort. Okay, get the bag. Get the bag, John. Don't worry about that. Michael will do that. As you get the bag and see how much you can get in the bag now, because you've got off to a marvellous start. 45 seconds to go. OK. See if you can get some in here. In the bag. Good. Shove it in, in, in bits and pieces. Yes, yeah, very good. He's a fit one, isn't he? He really is fit. How are we doing? <laughs> That's it, guys. This is fantastic! Hey! Oh! Incredible! Oh! Absolutely! I tell you what, what a fire seat! You can just get round there with Debbie and we'll get uh, Alan on again. Well, I think you're as staggered as I am. I Quite didn't brilliant. think it was possible for a normal human being <laughs> to do that. Mind Strong you, he is, a, he is a wart charmer, you think. Yeah. <laughs> That's quite brilliant. They can come and crew for me any time. Any time, yeah. And I think it deserves probably nine out of ten. Nine that out of ten. <laughs> Marvellous. Thank you, Alan. Okay. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Jackie. Very much. We, uh, thank you, my darling. Come forward here and come back, you two. There we are. Come on. Wasn't that a marvellous... Oh. <laughs> on the board, Miss Ford. Well, Debbie and John have scored nine. Hazel and Chris have scored six. Oh, well, here it is. That was really marvellous over there. But oh, it's not over yet. The fourth game is called Sign Here. Over to your lecterns, if you will, over there. Okay, behind, behind. That's it, good, good, good. That's marvellous. Now, uh, how long have you been driving, you two, Hazel? Uh, 13 years. 13 years, now. Chris? About ten years. About ten years, John. Oh, quite a lot of years. <laughs> many, many years. And you, Madame? About six years. About six years. Okay, because this is all about the highway code. Okay, a sign is going to go up there, and you have to write down, and we want the exact words in the highway code. No other words will do. The exact words. So, could we have the first sign, please? Now that isn't look out, dearie. <laughs> or this way to the stag party. <laughs> we want the exact words. Nothing will do but the exact words. We've got something? Yes, something. OK. Could we have the answer, please? Wild animals. Wild animals. What have we got for Hazel? We have deer crossing. Deer crossing. Or careful wildlife. Careful wildlife. Near, but we've got to have the exact words, so nothing over there. We've got... Animals crossing. Animals crossing. No, animals. no good for that. <laughs> and what? Beware of the reindeer. <laughs> You. 
especially at Christmas. Poor old Rudolph. <laughs> Scaring people. I can't believe that. OK, so nothing. Could we have the next one, please? Ah, now then. The next sign. The next sign just shows you that you've all been driving all these years. We have answers. Right, we have Right, that. OK, could we have the answer, please? Minimum speed limit. Not maximum, minimum speed limit. What have we got over there? Hazel has 30 miles per hour area. Yes. And uh, we have 30 miles per hour. Area, yes. You see, but it's got the blue background. That's what makes it different. And we've got 30 miles an hour speed limit, not minimum. And we've got 30 miles speed limit, so nothing again. <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> Best game we've had all series. OK. <laughs> Could we have the next sign, please? Now, here's another one. A tricky one. I hope you're doing this at home. And I hope you don't go out for a drive after. <laughs> OK, we've got an answer? Yes, we Good, have. Good, we've got an answer? Well, let's have the answer up there first. Oh. Means no <laughs> pedestrians. Isn't that a deceiving one? No pedestrians. What have we got there for Hazel? Uh, pedestrians crossing. Pedestrians cr That's Chris what I would have thought. Yes, yes. Chris crossed out no pedestrians, but he's crossed out to pedestrians Oh, crossing. he crossed out no pedestrians. Oh, bad luck, Chris. But yeah. well, we've got to accept it. Beware of pedestrians. <laughs> yeah, with your fire engine flying around all over the place, I think they would be beware. And we've got pedestrians crossing. No points at all. I love this game. I love it. OK, the next one, please. Is that it? Is that it? <laughs> That's it? Well, that must be it, yes. So, let me know. You've got answers? We have, yes. You have got answers. We've got a couple here. Right. Uh, could we have the answer, please? No vehicles. That just means purely and simply no vehicles. Hazel? Don't know. <laughs> Oh, Are you, Chris? No traffic. No. Oh, yeah. that's so close. Yeah. So close. <laughs> that is so close. But we made a rule earlier today. We must have the actual words of the highway code. Because, <laughs> no, because if you was the highway code, you'd have to answer exactly. And we had to make that rule. Otherwise, this would have been an impossible game to play. Uh, so bad luck, though, Chris. Very bad luck. We've got here fog. <laughs> And this little Debbie, no speed limit at all. <laughs> so let's have a look at the next one. Oh. <laughs> Who did this? Who did this? All right, what's the answer? Pose your hand! <laughs> Whoever's responsible for that, come down here. What a bit of fun, though. Oh, what a bit of fun. We had to make the rules, I'm sorry about that, but what's on the board, Miss Ford? Debbie and John have scored nine, Hazel and Chris have scored six. Six, oh, bad luck, bad luck. But uh, it's been lovely to have you with us, and you do have a Generation Game telephone for each of you. OK, and thank you for being with us. And let's remind ourselves who you'll be playing in the grand final. Come over here. OK, there we are. There we are. Now then, sit yourselves down. Have we got a grand final for you? Now, if, you've had, if you have any hidden style and grace, this will be the chance to reveal it. I'll say no more.
There you are. That's all there is to it. <laughs> now, we were very unkind to some contestants a few weeks ago when we did the Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers number, because I finished up dancing with the fellas and Rosemary finished dancing with, with the girls, which wasn't fair. So, heads or tails, Debbie? Heads. Heads, tails it is. OK, so you've lost the toss. Do you want to go first or second? Right. First, get it over with. Yeah. OK, fine. So if you'll just uh, take these two, will you? Take these two, the, the caravan in Shepherd's Bush Green. <laughs> OK, mind the donkey. OK? So get them out of the way, fine. So in you come. So first of all, Rosemary. Rosemary, you, you're going to dance with Rosemary. OK. There we are. <laughs> yes, she is. OK. And, and you're going to dance with Vincent. Right. Be, be gentle with me, won't you? Don't take any liberties. OK. All right, now, the man... The man will do the tango, and the lady will do the slow foxtrot, and they'll both do the quick step. Ballroom medley, take two. Up you go, slow fox. Slow fox. <laughs> very good, very good. She's a bit cheeky with me, isn't she? OK. Very nice, Olive. I've never had a better partner. Look what you've done round the back there. Right. OK, quick step. Both the quick step. Come on. Very extrovert. That's it, Steve. A bit of life. That's it. Go on. quickly get him out of the way here fine that's good and get the other two uh, yeah make sure they're out of the way that's it straight over there uh, John to, to, to Rosemary okay right over there that's good <laughs> Here's, are you, you're going to dance with me, all right? That's bruising and be very gentle with me, OK? Fine. Are you ready? OK, fine. Well, now, here we have Bora Medley, take three.
other two back. Yes, Bring them out. <laughs> Leave her alone, that's it. <laughs> really? Right, please. Right. There we are. Come over this side. Absolutely, all of you are such wonderful sports. I tell you, they're absolutely marvellous. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> oh. Well. Who better now to judge our grand final than one of the best love ladies in dancing? And I really mean that. Peggy Spencer. Yes! <laughs> Come in, my darling. Lovely to see you, darling. Thank you very much. It's Great been too long. Yes, been yes. too long. But you haven't lost your dancing, have oh, you? Oh, well, I still kick yes. my legs a bit, yes. You still With work the help hard of Rose, on your dancing. Course. But what do you think? Well, I thought uh, Stephen had... Um, moments of, uh, you know, great <laughs> feeling for the music. Yes. And uh, he certainly tried the effects. I mean, there was no doubt about that. I thought your partner was out of control most of the time. <laughs> so I think I would give Olive and Stephen 17. 17? Very well done. And what about Adam here? Maybe and John. Now, I thought John had got a very nice hold. I thought he, he used his feet well oh, and yes. he kept himself the, very compact. Yes, and the Lots of posture. rhythm. Yes, was good. yes, it was very good indeed. Yeah. A good mover with feeling. <laughs> there we are. And a walk charmer to the barber. <laughs> Again, uh, Debbie had a man out of control. Yes. So I think I would give Debbie and John 18. 18? But once more, Peggy, do come back and see us. Maybe Thanks. we'll do a formation dance next year. Oh, it would be lovely. That would yes. be marvellous. I'll yes. never forget the one we did. Yes. Thank, Thank you again, you. Peggy Spencer. Okay. Lovely. I'm coming here. Nobody deserves to lose because you've all put so much into it, you really have. But as it's the grand final, you have an answering uh, telephone machine to both of you. And thank you yeah. for being such a big part of tonight's show. You've been really lovely. OK, and you two, get round the back there. Oh, congratulations, then. Come on, hurry, 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 hurry. Round the back there. Get to work, get to work. Get your mind, people. Open the doors, please. Lots of articles are going to pass before your eyes in 40 seconds. We want you to have a real... Everything you remember, you'll take home with you tonight. Look out for the Brucey bonuses, because they are more valuable than they look. OK, good luck for this part of the show. Your 40 seconds starts now. On the conveyor belt tonight, we have a selection of board games, a pair of painted frames, a case of champagne, a video player, a German beer mug and sausage, two silver photo frames, a massage foot spa, Bruce's book on golf, yeah. a cuddly toy, a tease made, a compact camera, a Chinese mandarin, a soda stream, a selection of men's grooming products, his and hers generation game sweatshirts, a cordless iron, a brass desk lamp, a hair dryer, a spice rack, a transistor radio. OK, come round and keep thinking all the time. Keep thinking, keep thinking. OK, round you come. Just keep your own thoughts. You're going to get the first 20 seconds, Debbie. OK, after that, I'll tap you on the shoulder. You'll hear a funny noise. You'll take over the last 20 seconds. Good luck for this. You've got 40 seconds to remember as much as you can, starting from now. German beer mug. German uh, beer mug, good. Go golf book. Golf book, um, good. Champagne. Champagne. Picture frames. Frames. Picture frames. Cuddly frames, toy. Cuddly hair toy, dryer. The hair spice dryer. Spice rack. The price um, rack. Radio camera. Radio. A uh, funny Indian looking dolphin. Funny Indian looking dolphin. Um, <laughs> lamp. Um, a foot spa. A foot spa. You take over. Uh, video recorder. You're good. I'm glad you got that. Pictures. Pictures. Um, <laughs> Cuddly toy, um, spice rack, yeah. the lamp, 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 the Well, you've got 15 out of the 20 prizes, so that is marvellous. You've got lovely things like you've got the video play, you've got the compact camera, you've got the... the and I'm so glad Bruce's golf book, Bruce's yeah. golf book was this set of golf clubs. Do you play? Do you play? I know. We went off. There'll be a bit of a fight there. And 
And I'm glad you got the German beer mug and sausage, because there's the sausage on the other side of it. Look, an historic holiday for four in Berlin. So what about that? Equals, equals there, all right? Good. Well, thank you. You've been worthy with us. And, well, my generator is just about flat at the moment, but we're going to be generating again next Friday night. We hope you can see us again then on behalf of Rosemary and everybody, and I do mean everybody. Good night. God bless you. See you next week. <laughs>